Alright guys, so this morning's workout outfit is a story bra. It's such a staple bra that I have in my collection. Long sleeve and then story leggings. If you are listening now, I hope peace is what you found. So I'm still growing in the cracks and in between. And on the dark side of Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I go about getting in an early morning workout, especially in the mornings where I don't feel like it. So I will link my 6.30 a.m. morning routine in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. Just a little reminder that most mornings we're not going to want to get up and go to the gym, especially when it's super early and your bed is just like so cozy and warm so i know i mentioned this in my last video but it's such a simple easy rule and that is the five second rule by mel robbins where you are like one two three four five and then you've got to act on that action or else you're just probably not gonna do it i don't know she explains it so great so it's super simple i will link i'll link that in the description for you guys but pretty much just trying to simplify it Make it easy for yourself. I feel like one practical easy tip is just setting out your workout clothes and having that either right next to your bed or on your kitchen counter, somewhere that it's gonna be easy for you to access to grab and go. Um, I personally like picking out my workout up in the morning just because of the way that I have it set up. So you can do that or you can set it out, but setting it out usually makes it a lot easier and I did that for the longest time because we just like barely got a dresser. We went a few years without having a dresser and I love having one now. So anyways, your gym shoes, your headphones, make sure your water bottle's washed. And then if you take pre-workout, set that out on the counter. Another thing for waking up early, um, and I'll kind of probably make a different video tips on waking up early if you guys wanna see that. But um, if you can shift your nightstand down to where you have to actually get up to go and set, turn off your alarm, that would be a good thing to do. I know that it's so hard to wake up early in the mornings and want to go get your workout in. More often than not, we're not going to want to feel like going and that's just the truth. Um, but you have to remind yourself in that moment of how you're going to feel afterwards, how you're going to be supporting your body mentally, emotionally, physically, through movement. And another thing is picking out a good playlist. So I have been loving listening to Beyonce for my workouts and also um, his name. his name is Bad Bunny and there's also this song called La Bachata which I've been really liking that Joshua introduced me to. Any good music is super important for you to stay encouraged during your workout. Lastly is having a plan, knowing what you're going to do when you run to the gym, whether you decide to look up a YouTube workout or kind of create something on your own. But if you do need more guidance, I do have a $10 four-week guide that you can find in the description box below. It is a strength training program that is four weeks long. It's an instant download, so you can get started today. But let's go ahead and hit the gym. We are doing a dumbbell shoulder workout. I only use cables like twice in here, but you can definitely find a dumbbell variation on Google. But I started off with seated dumbbell shoulder press. Absolutely love these, they are such a staple. Here I'm doing some anterior shoulder press. So very similar, but just with your arms more in front of you. And you could also do these standing up to really challenge your core a little bit more. I always say to Keep your core engaged, control the movement, use a weight that's good for you, not too heavy and not too light. Here I showed some dumbbell lateral raises, just some tips for form with that one. Try to lead with your elbow as you go out as opposed to leading with your wrist. Where adult flies, I really like these. They feel great. You're going up against gravity, so it's a challenge in that way. You could also look up a variation of those using a bench if you'd like on Google. Here we've got some cable internal rotation. I would say do this with the cable if you have a cable because it provides you constant tension the whole way through. This targets your rotator cuff muscles. These help to stabilize your shoulder. So these are really good to focus on. You can throw them in at the end of your workout. 
here is cable external rotation and I hope you guys enjoyed the workout and voiceover. Let's jump into a protein shake recipe. I'm going to make a protein shake using the Alani New Protein and all of these ingredients. It has been my go-to like breakfast recently. I usually don't have an appetite in the morning so I'm just trying to get something in and it's super delicious. So I like to actually do less than six ounces now. Um, still do like a scoop of protein. This flavor is called everything but the cauldron and it's so cute. It's totally fall related. Um, I'm gonna do like a scoop of protein. I kind of want to start adding chia seeds into my protein shakes, so let me know if you do that. Uh, this is like $10 from Target, and um, it's already lasted. I mean, we've made so many smoothies with it already. I think HEB sells individual banana, like frozen banana packs, um, if you just like banana only, but I do like. The mixture peanut butter is just the good and gather brand and for milk i used almond milk you could use whatever milk you like you may be wondering why i'm poking at this with the fork and it just makes it easy because it's all stuck together i really don't know this doesn't say to refrigerate it i leave all this out because i make the same shake for joshua as well here we just have some vanilla greek yogurt we just get the target brand it's honestly like our favorite so now we just blend it all together. I got this blender as a Christmas gift and it's really good. So I will try to find the exact link for you guys down below. Also, this super cute jacket from KK Fit. I bought it off their website to help support them and it's so cute. I love it so much. The only thing about this machine is it is so loud. <laughs> like, very loud. So this is not an ideal shake if people are still sleeping. I really like these like beer can glasses. If you want more, you can definitely add, like if you want to fill up your cup, you could definitely add like eight to 10 ounces. Put my glass straw in there and there it is.